a long, long time ago. In a ga- <clears throat> Ah, no wait. Somewhere around here, I mean. And this very mountain. The first dwarves entered this world. The dwarves had unlimited ambition and the talent for whatever they set their minds to. They dug through mountains, built wondrous artifacts and structures, and had a courage of steel to face the fiercest of monsters. And win. On their way to glory, they encountered other races, such as the nimble elves, and the mighty dragons. With their help, soon the dwarves had spread far from their homeland and created a vast kingdom. But that was a long time ago, and I was merely ancient back then. In the end, it was due to change. They came from the unknown regions of the north. Mages. The dwarves had never seen anything like them. They wielded powerful energies called magic and brought with them terrible creatures that seemed to hate the very world itself. Even so, the dwarves offered their hand in friendship. But the mages had no such intentions. They struck out against the dwarves and soon the great dark magic war had begun. The dragons flew to help the dwarves, but the mages were so powerful that they managed to strike the dragons down from the sky, destroying them. The elves fled the lands to let the dwarves fight for themselves. The noble dwarves fought long and hard for their survival against the ruthless mages and the terrible destruction they brought in their wake. With no one to help, the dwarves Dad. were pushed back. Dad! Dad, you told this story dozens of times already. It's not real. There are no mages or dragons, and we don't even have a great kingdom laying around. This is boring to listen to again. I don't know. But soon, the dwarves will rise again. And they will build a civilization worthy of their stolen glory! Dad, are you talking to yourself again? No. Yeah.